Looking for an SRT encoder for remote guests? Whether it's hardware or software, there's no shortage of options. Like our Pearl Nano. It's the perfect device for SRT contribution. Here's why. Pearl Nano is a single channel encoder that can encode and decode SRT. And it's really simple to set up and use. With all the different video and audio inputs on the back, guests should have no problem connecting whatever gear they have on hand. There's HDMI and SDI for video, and two XLR inputs for professional audio, and RCA. The system also supports USB audio. Another plus is the screen built right into the unit. For one thing, it's a confidence monitor, letting guests know their feed's coming in without any issue. And it can help them get into position without a separate monitor. If they'd prefer to use a larger screen as their confidence monitor, there's an HDMI pass-through that can output their camera source with zero latency. Pearl Nano is small and lightweight, making it both convenient and cost-effective to ship out. Even better, Pearl Nano supports power over Ethernet in addition to DC power. All a guest will need is an Ethernet cable and a router that supports PoE+. Both are pretty common these days. Then, Pearl Nano can be powered entirely over Ethernet. No power cables required. As a producer, you can log into a contributor's Pearl Nano from anywhere and take care of all of the pre-event setup and testing. This really helps reduce the chance of configuration errors and makes for an easier production overall. You can also pre-configure your SRT stream before shipping out the unit. Then all your guest has to do is plug in their camera, mic, and ethernet, and they're good to go. The actual setup of your SRT streams is super simple especially if you're using a Pearl 2 as your production encoder and Epifan Cloud for remote access. Let me show you how it works. On the left-hand side, I've got my Pearl Nano, which I've actually got located just on my desk right here in front of me. And on the right-hand side, I've got Epifan Cloud. We're going to look for our production encoder, which is a Pearl 2 and located in our Ottawa studio. I'm going to go ahead and add a new input. Look for that SRT input on here. Going to use listener mode and a port that I know is open and available on our network. Back over on the Pearl Nano, we're going to set up a new stream and look for that SRT push again. Go for caller mode. Here we're going to input the actual SRT address for our encoder in the studio, including that same port number at the end. Hit start. Now, as you can see on the right hand side, the encoder in the studio is already connecting and our Pearl Nano contributing SRT encoder is connected on the left. After about 20 seconds, we should start to see some statistics on the system. And that was pretty simple. Now we have our SRT connection coming in from our Nano contributor and our production encoder in the studio is receiving that signal. And we can take a look at some of these statistics on here. Now you might need to make some small adjustments depending on your own bandwidth or the resolution that you're sending over SRT. And that's it. If you'd like to learn more about Pearl Nano, please check out our website at epifan.com. If you'd like to schedule a demo with one of our product specialists, please email us at info at epifan.com. Thanks for watching.